In the rat race that is corporate America, established practices have been perpetuating and increasing the severity of many institutionalized problems for decades. On its surface, the game Good Job appears to be a fun, wacky workplace comedy game without any significant depth. But when looked at more critically, Good Job is much more than just a throwaway game. At first glance, Good Job appears to be a silly game meant to entertain for a few hours, but beneath the surface is a powerful commentary about nepotism in corporate America and how success is not determined by what you know, but instead who you know. Welcome, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Legal Speak, a Cold North production. I'm The Law Morris, and this is the video essay series in which I get to talk about the games I've been playing and what I think of the medium as a whole. Initially, my wife enjoyed Good Job quite a bit more than I did, but as she kept making me play it with her, I began to notice parallels between the game and the corporate job I was working at the time. So let's talk about how Good Job is low-key one of the best satirical commentaries in recent memory. The premise of the game is simple. The player character, or characters, the game is playable in co-op, is the son of the CEO of a corporation working in the mailroom. They are then given menial tasks that amount to nothing substantial, with no oversight or time frame for those tasks to be completed in. As the player goes about completing their tasks, the game keeps a running tally of the total cost of destruction to company property caused by the player. Despite this tally being kept throughout each level, it never yields any results either negative or positive. And after every three levels, the player is promoted and told to report to the floor above regardless of how they actually performed. The only determining factor being whether or not they completed the tasks assigned to them. So how does such a silly, funny game have so much more to it? From the moment the game begins, it's clear that the player character was only hired because of their relation to the CEO. While it's unclear whether or not there was any interview process, it is made very clear that the player really has no standards to meet and is encouraged to complete their tasks by any means necessary. The tasks the player is given are made up of stupid, meaningless things like fix the internet, set up the projector, and gather everyone for a meeting. None of what the player is assigned is anything that would be considered productive work in a normal office environment, but the player is given nothing but positive feedback when completing those tasks. All throughout the player's career at their father's company, they're not only warned against it, but actively encouraged to show a total disregard for their coworkers and company property. Showing what is undoubtedly physical abuse to your coworkers is never reprimanded and strictly rewarded. At the end of each level, regardless of their job performance, the player is always given the highest grade possible and regularly promoted for, once again, doing the bare minimum of the world's easiest job description. Good job makes for excellent satire of the current state of corporate America. All over our country, Bosses' younger relatives or relatives of friends are benefiting from gross displays of nepotism, despite constantly proving their own incompetence. While the tasks, reactions, and rewards of the game are meant to be hyperbolic, it's a sad state of affairs when a cartoonish game is a much closer depiction of the real world than any cartoon really ever should be. Good Job stands as a perfect example of how video games can bring to the spotlight issues that would otherwise be considered taboo to discuss, and does so in such an irresistibly charming way that surely even Jeff Bezos would be disarmed. So what do you think of Good Job? Am I reading way too much into this? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget that you can see everything I do all in one spot over at coldnorthpro.com. I'll be back next time talking about something else entirely, so until then, just go play some games.